should be told. What is it about? It's about Youngstown? About having lived in Youngstown? Grown up in Youngstown? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Most people don't never heard of it, you know. Steel turned Youngstown into a boom town. The mills gave workers the American dream. A place to grow up, raise a family, make a good life. You could always look out the door and say, when I graduate from high school, I'll go into the plant like my father did, at least have some money, they'll all have a car, they'll have a shotgun, they'll all go hunting and fishing and, and uh, enjoy life. Disbelief, anger, frustration. Maybe if you were an economic analyst you could see it coming, but if you were a steel worker raised with the single-minded thought of following your father into the mill for one of those jobs, you couldn't or wouldn't imagine what it would be like to have the blast furnaces ever cool down. Sports is a, is a glue here, it really is, always has been. Mancini jumps all over him and he's in trouble on the ropes. It's just the type of people that have come out of this area in all phases of sports. And in my own way, I've tried to do the same thing because everybody knows that anybody from Youngstown uh, just goes out and wins. No small town in America, Youngstown size, has had such a long history of organized crime. And it's gone on since I was AI. One of the reasons why the Youngstown of the Mahoning Valley was so uh, mobbed up is because of their proximity to Cleveland and Pittsburgh, which also had a powerful La Cosa Nostra organization. There were so many bombings in Youngstown. They had bombings of, uh, of government officials, of councilmen's houses. And you actually heard and there was no doubt, it, you know, doesn't thunder on a clear night. That's how the mob works. Violence and the threat of violence or, or intimidation and, of course, uh, the corruption of government officials. Trafficking is accused of taking bribes from alleged organized crime leaders in the Mahoning Valley. The government hopes to portray Trafficking as a corrupt politician who willingly took the mob's money and looked the other way. There were so many people compromised. It was everywhere. There were payoffs, there were bribes. And he mentioned $15,000, and I, I said, no. And he started bidding me, he said, how about 20? The shooting took place Christmas Eve, 1996. The gunman entered through the garage door. They were trying to kill this guy because he was a guy who didn't show a willingness to play ball with them. It was just so outrageous. Whether it be at the Bartlow or, or Carmen Policy or Ray Mancini, people will always say, I'm from Youngstown. And, and I don't care where I go, I'm from Youngstown. <laughs> and we're recognized, good, bad, or in between. They know Youngstown. With lessons learned the hard way and all the scars to prove it, though battered and bruised, Youngstown, Ohio is still standing. <laughs>